Hi everyone, I am Jason Dilantera from Grade 9 Triad In this video, we will talk about the 7 laws and principles of exponents, which are the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, the product raised to a power, quotient raised to a power, the zero exponent rule, and the negative exponent rule. But in this video, we will try to focus on only 5 of them. So, without any further ado, let's start learning. Starting off easy, here we have the product rule. Let us take a look. Here we have x raised to m times x raised to n is equals to x raised to m plus n. So in this law, we will simply just add up the exponents of the same variable. Hence the name of this law, the product rule. Let's try to solve an example. Here we have z raised to 4 times z raised to 5. Now, like what I said earlier, we will simply just add up the exponents of the same variable. So since they have the same variable z, we will just copy the variable z and then add up the exponents. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So the correct answer is z raised to 9. Product rule is pretty easy, right? Now let us move on to the next law. Here we have the quotient rule. Now, quotient rule is basically the opposite of the product rule because in this law, we will simply just subtract the exponents of the same variable. Let us take a look. Here we have x raised to m over x raised to n is equals to x raised to m minus n. Now, to further understand this lesson, let us try to solve an example. Here we have s raised to 10 over s raised to 5. Now, like what we did earlier, if the variable is the same, we will just copy the variable s, so copy the variable s, and then subtract the exponents. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. So the correct answer here is s raised to 5. We are already halfway there. Now let us tackle the third law, the power rule. Here we have x raised to m raised to n. So the exponent is also raised to an exponent. So if we will try to simplify this, we will have x raised to m n or x raised to m times n. Let's try to solve an example. Here we have q raised to 9 raised to the third power. So the first step in solving this is to copy the variable. So we're going to copy the q, the variable q, and then we will multiply the exponents. So 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So the correct answer here is q raised to 27. Next is the product raised to power. Now, I know that the name might be complex, but trust me on this because it's like we're using the power rule. To visualize, here we have x raised to m, y raised to m, all raised to n. Now, if we will simplify this, we will get x raised to m n, y raised to m n, or x raised to m times n, y raised to m times n. To further understand this, let's try to solve an example. Here we have p raised to, to 4, r squared, all raised to the fifth power. Now, to solve this kind of problem, we will simply just distribute the property of this number, number 5, to the exponents of the variable p and r. And then, we will copy the variable. Let's try. Here we have 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Copying the variable, we will get P raised to 20. Next, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Copying the variable r, we will get r raised to 10. Now, look at the variable. Since they don't have the same variable, this is the final answer or we cannot um, further simplify this example. So, the final answer is P raised to 20 r raised to 10. Now last but definitely not the least, 
as the quotient raised to the power. Now this law is like a combination of the quotient rule and the power rule because in this law we can apply both subtraction and multiplication of exponents. To visualize, here we have x raised to m over y raised to m all raised to n. If we will simplify this, we will get x raised to mn over y raised to mn or x raised to m times n over y raised to m times n. With all that settled, let us try to solve an example. Here we have c raised to 6 over d cubed all raised to 9. Now like what we did earlier, we can distribute the property of this number, the number 9, to the exponents of the variable c and d. And then we will copy the variable. Let's try. 9 times 6 is equals to 54. Copying the variable c, we will have c raised to 54 over d cubed or 9 times 3 is equals to 27. Copying the variable d, we will get d raised to 27. So, um, looking at the variable, since they don't have the same variable, we cannot further simplify this. So the final answer is c raised to 54 over d raised to 27. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and learn a lot from this video. I know that this is not that much. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye-bye!